more or less nuts. <laughs> it's the, the raw, visceral quality of this place that you just got to love. We make little discoveries every day, but this is a pretty amazing discovery, right? Absolutely eat the street food. Follow your nose, follow the smoke, follow the locals. It's always the best. Huh? Huh? I think I found it. You know the number of times we've had to sign our lives away on this trip? First of all, just to go on the trip at all. Second, hang gliding here. If I don't die on this trip, there's going to be a lot of very disappointed people. This is inadvisable. This is not a good idea. I can't even see the mountain. And that is exactly why I have to do it. That's just not going to happen. I would say it was the most beautiful moment of my life. Hands down. They're spearfishing Amazon style. This is the way that they've gotten food on the Amazon since the beginning of time. When you hit a fish, this thing comes off. And if you're lucky, it stays in the fish. No, not a chance. Not even close. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why we think this is a good idea. <laughs> but they, they certainly think it's funny. They're gonna continue just throwing it. This is this is a lost cause. <laughs> You just got two. Two in one shot. <laughs> I've tried upwards of a hundred times. Not a one. Two in one shot. <gasps> I got one, man. Oh! Oh, my. That is... Oh, God, it's disgusting. That is evidence. I had it. I got, like, the heart. Look at that. I hit the dang fish. There they go. The boat full of fish. And we got a boat full of sandals. <laughs> There's something just so visceral about the experience of a bullfight. It's thrilling to be out here actually learning. How about that? The featured matador comes out. It's a whole dance. The bull comes closer and closer and closer. Hey! The purpose of the whole thing is to do it beautifully. If the bull suffers, the crowd starts to boo. You want it to all happen like clockwork, but it rarely does. We're on the Caminito. The houses were all made of corrugated steel. It was a very poor neighborhood, full of longshoremen, dock workers, not an entire family living in one little room, one kitchen, one bathroom. Somebody's been cooking something good. Ah, uh, y pintura, see? Si? Pintura, pintura. And obviously somebody's a painter here because there's paint on the table. It's just the essentials, you know, it's just what you need to live. The home personifies everything that is important in the culture of La Boca. You have uh, the paintings on the wall, you have religion, and you have the family, and the detachment from material goods. That's what this place has historically been about. Muchas gracias. No, 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 no. If you're going to come to the Caminita, you've got to talk to the people, you've got to see the real deal. We are at the indigenous market in Pisac. It's a little town about 33 kilometers northeast of Cusco. I love the indigenous markets. They're so full of color and the people are so full of life. It just makes me happy to be here. 45% of Peru's population is still purely indigenous. It gives the place a real air of authenticity. There's so much great art and history and handicrafts. I can't wait to just delve in here. Whale sharks are the largest fish in the ocean. These things are like the size of a Mack truck. And I'm gonna get to snorkel with them. I'm gonna get to swim right alongside these gigantic prehistoric creatures, and I can't wait. I just saw our first whale shark, it's right there. It's gigantic, it's beautiful. There's something unbelievably magical about seeing an animal in its own environment. I mean, I could, I could reach out and touch it if I wanted to. I stopped swimming and let it pass me. You know, it's just this body that goes right past and his fin came and just sort of gently touched my leg as it went past. Unbelievable. I mean, there's just no words. There's very little known about the beginning of human life in Brazil, but uh, archaeologists estimate that man came to Brazil about 50,000 years ago, which predates anywhere else in all of the Americas. So there's a long and mysterious, fascinating history of tribal life here in Brazil. When the Portuguese came here in 1500, there were about a thousand different tribes in existence. There are still 180 different indigenous languages spoken today. 
I think they understand something about life that we don't. There's a connection to the earth that I think we really miss in the modern world. It's a really valuable experience to explore where we come from, who we were, uh, and I feel like there's limited time to, uh, to do that. Obrigado. We're watching them up here and it just looks so peaceful, although I don't feel peaceful right now. <laughs> we're off, we're off, man, we're off. This is the, the essential element of the, uh, of the jump so that you don't plummet to your death, right? <laughs> This is it. We're, we're strapping in and we're about to go. The view is unbelievably gorgeous. And I'm just thrilled to be doing this over Rio. What an experience. One, two, three, and go. <laughs> 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 How was man? Ah. Okay, man. No Thank you, to the Thank family. You. Thank you so much. I hope I had enjoyed it. Oh, yeah, unbelievable! No Just fantastic. You gotta do this. You gotta come to Rio and do this. What a place. <laughs> Kurubani masasi, 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 kurub